Okay, so four weeks ago, I met with the captains, and they told me, they said, hey, we have to emphasize that we need to be six and two at the bye, okay? We need to be six and two at the bye, and we are. Hell of a job, fellas. Hell of a job. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't always come at the perfect time of the year, for sure, if you have it early in the season. But with it being, you know, at the halfway point, it's it's technically perfect because you, everybody's kind of banged up and uh, you have a chance to kind of recuperate mentally and physically, let the body heal, uh, you know, and just mentally refocus to dedicate for the, you know, the stretch run of the season. Everybody feels ready. Uh, we know it's going to be a tough game. They're a physical bunch, so we just have to be prepared to uh, try to silence the crowd and, uh, you know, start fast. Flanagan fly, Diggs is open, he's got it! Stephon Diggs diving for the end zone! Home, oh, Maryland native Stephon Diggs! Grab made by Thielen and he's off! What a burst as he beat the veteran D'Angelo Hall! What Tavius Murray with his second touchdown this season! Steps up, pumps, pumps, fires, thread for the to Thielen! Who rips it away! And a team celebration of Leapfrog is on as the Vikings leap ahead, 20-17! <laughs> One thing that we knew about them is they score super early, so we wanted to start fast and put some points on the board and let our defense go out and have some fun. You know, we were able to get some stops and then, you know, kind of settle down and play our type of game, and our offense was rolling all day. Here we go. First and 10, Washington from his own 25. That's the ball, fires. Intercepted by the Minnesota Vikings! Happy birthday, Mackenzie Alexander! That's his first National Football League interception! It was awesome. I mean, uh, anytime you can get an interception, especially at that point in time in the game, you know, it's huge. And for him to, to get his first career pick on a, on, in a game where, you know, it came down to, what, seven points? Uh, it was huge and the excitement level you can see everybody running out there and excited for him so uh, it was awesome to see and, and you know to be able to celebrate with him especially because it was his birthday that day so it was kind of like the icing on the cake we get the win uh, he got an interception and uh, we got to celebrate with him it certainly is a test but I'm not sure the Rams see it that way because they are confident in what they're doing. They have one of the hottest young coaches in the league in Sean McVay. But Mike Zimmer says they have to prove it to us. At this point in time, it doesn't matter how you're viewed by people because uh, they don't play. So it doesn't matter to, you know, coach or you know any of the players, I'm sure. We're both sitting, you know, with two losses and uh, they're an NFC team. We're an NFC team. So... And definitely important for us to, uh, you know, continue to try to stack wins. The first place feast is tied at seven. I know the head coach came from Washington. Uh, so watching uh, our tape last week and then watching, you know, preparing for this game, it's very similar on offense. He don't want it. Come on, he don't. Oh, he wants it. He wants it. He wants it. What's the call, Sean McVay? Third down and four. Rams knocking on the door. Got throwing over the middle, complete, it's cut, lunging, oh. ball's out, Minnesota's got it! Cut fumble at the one, and Anthony Harris recovers! Yeah, I mean, that was huge. That took a, a touchdown away in a critical part of the game. He had a couple plays in that game that were huge and, and uh, took points off the board. That's why you have two deep all the way down the depth chart. If somebody goes down, then this guy can step up and... You know, you don't really miss a beat. And he had a heck of a game that week. And that's that's part of the reason we won the game. It doesn't matter what a team has accomplished or what they've done in the past because it doesn't matter in this league. Yeah, the only thing that matters is that weekend and, and that game that you play. So coaches had an uh, excellent game plan, and we executed it, you know, pretty well. So uh, to come out with a win, obviously, is always big. And, um something that we look forward to every week. Well, welcome to Detroit, Michigan for Thanksgiving football and this good matchup in the NFC North. Head coach, Mike Zimmer. Hey, hey, let's do your job today. Plan it simple. Let's not make it close. Let's not make it close. Let's go, let's go. I think in terms of what we want to do as a team, um, no matter you know what game it is, it, they're all important in one way or the other. 
the only thing was different was uh, half times a little longer. Um, and I think the game started 30 minutes earlier than the normal games on the weekends. That's the only thing that's different. And the Minnesota Moving Company is starting to mash on Lions for profit. Runs to the end zone. Latavius, touchdown! Hey, they going quick! Any momentum going into halftime, Paul has evaporated. That's how you impose your will. Vikings lead by seven. Stafford, deep drop, passes left. It's batted in the air. Intercepted by Xavier Rhodes. He stumbles his way to what's going to be a Vikings victory. Obviously, they had beat us earlier in the season, and winning the division is something that, you know, is our goal. And Believe it, okay? In order to do that, we needed to win that game, and we got that accomplished. This is a big game. Both these teams of the playoffs started today are in it. Minnesota's trying to get the best record in the league, and all of a sudden the Falcons are right back in the NFC South race. We talked to Xavier Rhodes yesterday. How often will you be on Julio Jones? He said, if Julio Jones lines up at running back, I'll be lining up at linebacker. <laughs> Xavier Rhodes is the best cornerback in the league. I mean, he wants to he wants to destroy any receiver he goes against. That's, um, you know, supposed to be a marquee guy and obviously he's had success against every last one of them that he's played one catch today that's it shows you all you need to know which makes him the best cornerback in the league the minnesota vikings grinding away have improved to 10 and 2. what that was fun to watch Woo! yeah that's, cool. that's how we do that's eight in a row we got four more it's 12 games down from day one, this locker room has been, you know, awesome. And guys are just kind of welcoming to everybody. It's not like linemen are on one side, quarterbacks on another side, defensive linemen on the other side. Everybody's next to somebody else. So you look around the locker room and you just see guys that are sitting there just having conversations, joking around, laughing, having fun. So when you have a locker room that's so diverse, but everybody's like open to, you know, communication and, and having fun with the other groups, that's when you really realize how special this group is. Hey, I love this team. I'm proud of you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Tempo, tempo, baby, tempo. Let's go. One play at a time, right? Hey, bring that tempo, right? Bring that tempo. All right, let's go, baby. How do you do? There's only been one team that's ever won every, you know, regular season game. So, obviously, that was out of the window early, early for us. So, you know, what we want to do is still in front of us, and we just gotta focus on this game. And this is the most important game of the season because it's the next game. You can't get to the big dance unless you take the division first. So I prophesy that you'll be crowned king of the north in about 60 minutes come hell or high water. I think it would be great to win, but just winning the division, I mean, for me, it's not a reason to celebrate. It just lets us know that, hey, we clinched the playoff uh, spot. Our fight is strong! All right, baby, here we go! We'll play the town and get out of school right off the bat, boys! To win as many games as possible is also one of the things that uh, you know, we set off to do, and we need to come out and play on all cylinders and try to you know, definitely get that done. 66,000 plus on its feet. Dalton, play action, here's Daniil. He got it, Daniil Hunter. I think we played really well. Um, guys were understanding the magnitude of the game and what it meant, um, you know, to get that win at home. Obviously, we've been playing really well at home, and, you know, we just were locked in and guys were ready to go. Our defensive line, they start everything for us and, um, you know, they stop the run and make a team one-dimensional and then they can kind of tee off and, you know, get after the quarterback a little bit and we can get back in coverage. And they put pressure on the quarterback and it allows us to get some some throws where quarterbacks aren't ready to set their feet. And, Cincinnati of one on third down. You know, we want to get a couple of those. It off. Dalton looks left. Intercepted! And it's intercepted! Eric Hendricks near side! Eric 
Kendricks looking for the angle. 2015-10. Dives to the end zone. 13-0. Vikings. That's the big play on defense. Putting six points on the board. Eric Kendricks. They ran a little little option route and. You know, I'm driving on the option route thinking I'm about to get a pick on that play. And out of nowhere, it comes EK. And, you know, he snags it out the air, runs it in for a touchdown. Anthony Barr is leading um, the two UCLA guys. So that was amazing. Eric Kendricks with a 30-yard pick six. Mine, I, I had actually gotten that play, um, I think, the week before. Red rifle guy out of the shotgun. Two receivers left, one right pass over the middle. And it's intercepted by Terrence Newman, yes! Terrence Newman just picked off a pass against his former team. It was a play that just literally route recognition. I, I just recognized where guys were at, and uh, I took a chance, and it, and it paid off. That's Terrence's first interception this season. Pretty spectacular catch. Yeah. Two first downs for Cincinnati, two interceptions for the Viking defense. Oh, man, those guys are- it was just funny, like, they're like, how did you do that? And I didn't even really know about, I just know I pinned it on my leg, but I didn't really know exactly what I did. Bro, I can't believe it. I thought I had another pick. Hey, T, he was looking at them the whole time. If it was a double move, I was gone. It was so fast that, I mean, you know, I didn't realize that, like, I pinned it against the leg the way I did. When you drop a ball, you're trying to catch it, you know, and, no matter how you catch it, you're trying to keep it from touching the ground and get possession of it. So <laughs> it actually looked like uh, they did a little Harlem Globetrotter action. It was a little more, a little more difficult than I thought, and I didn't even know I still had that flexibility. This is 42 career interceptions. I mean, it was a good feeling. When guys make plays, I mean, let's go celebrate it. You know, we come here together. We're here all day together. We go play together. So if one guy makes a play, it's kind of like the collective deal. You know. Like we all make a play, you know. It's 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 a, a true team deal. Uh, one guy might have you know made that actual play, but I think there's other parts around that that actually kind of help a lot of times as well. Um, so it's it's fun just to be able to congratulate and celebrate with your teammates. Pop the champagne and pass out the hats. The Minnesota Vikings are 2017 NFC North champions! It's all fine and dandy, but we ain't finished. Got a long way to go, man. Long, long way. I mean, that was one of our goals, so to accomplish that after that game, I mean, it was a, it was a great feeling, and knowing that we'll be able to play in the postseason and have a chance to um, get another goal, um, you know, that's a, it's a great feeling, and, you know, it's well-deserved. We obviously didn't play very good last year, after the first five games, and to be able to be in this position is, is absolutely amazing. In order of doing what we want to do, I mean, it's it's a huge game. And it would be nice to be able to play, you know, a game at home, uh, if we could get a bye. And all of that happens with this game and the next game, you know. So it's important that we focus on this game, not take this team lightly, because we're riding high right now. So obviously they're going to give everything they have and try to try to spoil what we want to do. We have to be focused and prepared and be willing to you know, play as hard as we can for 60 minutes. Feels like the Minnesota Vikings defense has been playing on the other side of the line of scrimmage so far in this one. Vikings trying to close in on that first shutout in 24 season. I mean, I think uh, every game you want to win, so it's not hard to be amped up. Um, I put the dag in him, man. You need to put the dag in him. We wanted to go out and make sure that, you know, we we're going to go out and have a fun you know, game and play the way that we're capable of playing and, you know, make sure we had everybody's back. They just do get it off, and the pass is intercepted by Smith. Harrison with his second pick tonight. Hey, you got to press. They know how we rock it, Harry. Hey, 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 know how we rock it, Harry. Best corner, best safety in the league. Jerry Grace got the best two secondary players in the league. And that's what makes him the best safety in football right now. He is a very, very complete safety who's had an unbelievable year. He, he doesn't make mistakes. I mean, he's he's very cerebral. Um, he's great in the run. He's great against the pass. I mean, he does everything, you know, not well, but he does everything perfect. Here in Minneapolis, one more win. 
would get them the number two seed in the NFC and a first round playoff bye. If you're on the other side of the table, you're trying to be spoiler, and I would imagine they would be pretty fired up though and try to get uh, try to get a win and, and go out on a high note. Freeman of that playoff bye with a 23 to 7 lead. They pulled out all stops, and I think we just executed a little bit more. 13 of them. It's hard to do, baby. It's hard to do. But we have a damn good team. Play together as a team, special teams, offense, defense. I'm proud as hell of this team, OK? You've worked your rear ends off for six months to get to this spot, OK? To give us the opportunity to do what we want to do now.